At one time, there was a community known as the Sogs. They almost monopolized the east-west trade over the Silk Road. Today, they are considered a visionary people who have vanished into the far recesses of history. Large numbers of these figures have been excavated in Chang'an, China, the ancient capital of the Tang dynasty. The figure of the Western man leading a camel is said to be the likeness of a sogd. Long beards and deep-set eyes. In Soviet Central Asia, we encountered faces that were living replicas of the figure of the camel-leading Western barbarian excavated in Chang'an. Descendants of Sogs, the vanished caravan people, are reported to be living in obscurity in this region. Tajikistan, or the Republic of Tajik in Soviet Central Asia, bordering China in the east and Afghanistan in the south, is situated in the innermost part of Central Asia. Over 90% of the Republic of Tajik is covered by mountains. We have been informed that somewhere in this country are people who speak the Sogdian language even today. The Sogdian language at one time was spoken in the wide-ranging regions from Mongolia in the east to Iran in the west. It was a common language on the Silk Road, but was lost simultaneously with the overthrow of the Sogdians. Dushanbe, the capital of the Republic of Tajik, sits in a small valley formed along the southern foothills of the Jisa Mountains. It now has a population of 520,000, but it was a tiny village with only a few hundred inhabitants before the Russian Revolution. It is a modern city that developed into an industrial and transportation center of southern Central Asia under the Soviet rule. In this city, a large variety of ethnic groups, including Tajiks, Uzbeks, Russians, Tatars and Ossets are living. But the Tajiks alone belong to the Indo-Iranian racial group. And the Tajiks are the most closely related to the Sogs, who belong to the racial group of Eastern Iran. Straight nose and deep-set eyes indeed set them apart from other people. The comb maker has a small stall set up on the footway. He is fashioning a piece of mulberry wood into a comb. The combs are used for tidying men's beards. The outdoor tea shop, called Chaikana, is where men stop for relaxation. Here in the city of Dushanbe, no trace of the songs we were seeking could be found. The Tajiks say they are descendants of songs, but they are Tajiks now. They have never heard Sogdian spoken, nor have they seen Sogdian writing. What they are saying is that the songs are now a thing of the past, buried under the ruins. 